Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry for the delay of the videos. The reason why was because I was busy with my year-end exams. Okay, now, today's video is about Pluto. Did you know that Pluto was named by an 11-year-old girl? What's even more fascinating is that a few months later, there was a Disney cartoon character named after this same planet. People and children adored Pluto in a way that no other planet has been adored. But in the year 2006, when the International Astronomical Union declared that Pluto is not a planet and that it is a dwarf planet, people protested for Pluto and there has never been a protest like this before for a planetary body. To know more about Pluto, please watch this video till the end. Pluto was first proposed by Priscilla Lowell who was observing the wobbles in the orbits of Uranus and Neptune, which was caused by the gravitational pull of an unknown planetary body. Pursuel Lowell then calculated the location of this planet and almost for a decade searched for it, but didn't success in finding it. In 1929, using the calculations of Pursuel Lowell and W.H. Pickering, at Mount Wilson Observatory as a guide, the search for the unknown planetary body was restarted at the Lowell Observatory in Arizona. On February 18, 1930, Clyde W. Tombo discovered Pluto using a new astronomic technique of photographic plates combined with a blink microscope. He then announced the discovery of Pluto publicly on March 13, 1930. Pluto formed 4.5 billion years ago and is a member of a group of objects that orbit in a dislike zone beyond the orbit of Neptune, called the Kuiper Belt. The distant realm is populated with thousands of miniature icy worlds, which formed during the formation of the solar system. Pluto is a dwarf planet. It is roughly about 39 astronomical units away from the Sun and it takes the sunlight about 5.5 hours to reach Pluto. With a radius of about 1,151 kilometers, it is about one-sixth width of Earth. A day is 153 hours and a year on Pluto is pretty long. It is approximately about 248 Earth years. Its axis of rotation is tilted 57 degrees, so it spins almost on its side. Pluto also exhibits a retrograde rotation, which means that it spins from east to west, like Venus and Uranus. Pluto also has five known moons. It has an elliptical and tilted orbit which is very odd when comparing it with other planets. Its oval-shaped orbit can take it as far as 49.3 astronomical units away from the Sun and as close as 30 astronomical units away from the Sun. On average, Pluto is about approximately 39 astronomical units away from the Sun. From the year 1979 to 1999, Pluto was near perihelion, which is the point in its orbit when it is the nearest to the Sun. Fascinatingly, the dwarf planet was actually closer to the Sun than Neptune. Being two-thirds the diameter as Earth's moon, it could probably have a rocky core, which is surrounded by a mantle of water ice. On Pluto, ices like methane and nitrogen make a frost coat on its surface. Pluto's surface is characterized with a complex and mysterious world, bursting with mountains, valleys, thronging with plains and craters and more. The temperature on Pluto can be as cold as minus 226 to 
to minus 240 degrees Celsius. Mountains on Pluto are made up of water ice, sometimes with a coating of frozen gases like methane. These water ice mountains can be 2 to 3 kilometers tall, with long troughs and valleys which can be as long as 600 kilometers, which add to the interesting features of Pluto. Craters can be as large as 260 kilometers in diameter that appear on some of the landscapes on Pluto, with some showing signs of erosion and filling. This could be due to tectonic forces that are slowly resurfacing Pluto. The most recognizable planes observed on Pluto appear to be made of frozen nitrogen gas and show no signs of craters, but so structures suggesting convection, which are blobs of material circulating up and down. There was a study done in 2015 about Pluto's atmosphere just two weeks before the first spacecraft made a flyby. It was a remote observation of Pluto by NASA's telescope on an airplane, which was done by the Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy, or for short, SOFIA. It was a joint project of NASA and the German Aerospace Center. The Boeing 747 airplane flew over the Pacific Ocean and pointed its nearly 9-foot telescope at Pluto during an occultation, an eclipse-like event in which Pluto cast a faint shadow on Earth's surface as it passed in front of a distant star. Pluto's atmosphere expands when it comes closer to the Sun and collapses when it moves further away, similar to that of a comet. When Pluto is close to the Sun, the ices on the surface sublimates, which means that the ices turn to gas to temporarily form a thin atmosphere. The dwarf planet has low gravity, approximately about 6% of the Earth's gravity. Due to the low gravity, this causes the atmosphere to be much more extended in altitude than our own planet's atmosphere. During the part of each year when it is travelling far away from the sun, Pluto becomes much colder. During this time, the thin atmosphere of the planet that was made could freeze and fall as snow to the surface. Haze particles are actively being restored. The data from Sophia's discovery is revising predictions on the fate of Pluto's atmosphere as it moves further away from the sun. Many forecasts indicated that as the dwarf planet moved away from the sun, less ice would be vaporized, creating fewer atmospheric gases while losses to space continued, eventually leading to atmospheric collapse. But rather than collapsing, the atmosphere appears to change on a shorter cyclical pattern. The haze is thought to thicken and then fade in a cycle lasting just a few years. Its atmosphere is mainly nitrogen gas, along with small amounts of methane and carbon monoxide. Haze particles from high up in the atmosphere, more than 20 miles above the surface, as methane and other gases react to the sunlight before slowly raining down to the icy surface. The particles are extremely small, about 1,000 times smaller than the width of a human hair. Due to their small size, they scatter blue light more than other colors. We still don't know if Pluto has a magnetic field, but its small size and slow rotation suggests little or none. Pluto has five known moons, Haran, Nix, Hydra. Kerberos and Styx. This moon system might have formed by a collision between Pluto and other similar sized bodies during the time when the solar system was forming. Only one spacecraft has visited Pluto, the New Horizons, launched by NASA on January 19, 2006. 
Thank you for watching my video. If you find this video interesting, please share and like. And don't forget to provide your valuable comments in the comment section below. Signing off, Shoni.